fellow Disney nerds, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, I'm Roxana. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the things that I've been currently watching on Disney Plus while in quarantine. Um, maybe I will give you s my list of things that I've been watching will give you some suggestions on what you guys can be watching. Um, so let's get right into it. So one of the things that I've been currently watching on Disney Plus is Frozen 2. Believe it or not, when it got released on D Disney Plus, that was the first time that I've actually seen it, and I love it. Um, if you guys want a spoiler-free review on F Frozen 2, comment down below and I'll make that happen. The next thing that I saw on Disney Plus is Onward, and I absolutely love Onward. If you guys want a spoiler-free review on that one, I can also make that happen. Um, and then the next thing I saw on um, Disney Plus is Kim Possible, the um, TV series. I haven't got into the movie yet, but that's that's on my watch list. Um, and then I ended up watching the Little Mermaid uh, TV series. Um, and then followed by <laughs> the Little Mermaid and then the Little Mermaid 2. Actually, believe it or not, Little Mermaid, Disney Plus is the first time that I've seen Little Mermaid 2. I know when, um, Little Mermaid 2 came out, it got immediately released to DVD and I just didn't have an opportunity to watch it. Um, but Disney Plus now makes it easy for me to watch that. And I really liked it. Um. The next thing that I saw was uh, A Wrinkle in Time, and I liked that movie. I actually got to, I actually got a chance to see that when I got released in theaters. Um, so I really recommend watching that movie. I also saw the live action Aladdin movie. Um, I know some people have their opinions about it. I personally like it. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, um, the next thing that I saw was the live action uh, Lady in the Tramp. And I thought it was really cute. I liked it. Um, so, that's another thing that I saw while quarantined. And um, another thing that I saw while quarantined was... Bambi 1 and Bambi 2. Bambi 2 was, uh, Disney Plus was actually the first time I've seen Bambi 2. I've seen Bambi 1, like, countless times because I own it on VHS. That's how old I am. Um, for any of you kids who are watching this and you're like, what's a VHS? It's how we used to watch movies back in the day. Google shorts what what a VHS is and you'll find an image not very quickly. Anyways, moving on. The next thing that I saw uh, on Disney Plus was Remember the Titans, and I actually kind of forgot that it was a Disney movie that it got released by Disney. Um, Remember the Titans is based on a true story and it takes place in the 1970s in. Um, the state of Virginia and in in inner segregation was still somewhat around but um, the South was very slow on intergate with integration and th is that the right word I don't think that's the right word whatever um so um the school that this um uh, movie takes place is the first school in Virginia to like mix um blacks and whites together and they took the um white school and they mixed it with the black school and combined one school together um so that's another movie that I recently saw on Disney plus another movie is another movie that I saw is Tom and Huck and this um is if you like um, those types of, I don't want to say fairy tale because that's the wrong word, um, 
like folk tale type of um, movies and you'll like T Tom and Huck. It's basically, it follows the life of Tom Sawyer and, and, and Huckleberry Finn. Um, so that's um, what that movie is. And then I saw The Sword in the Stone. I really like that one. Um, another thing that I saw was the um, live stage production of Newsies. For those of you who don't know, Newsies is a musical. And um, fun fact, I've actually seen that musical twice here in Chicago. Um, it's it made it's it made a second round here in Chicago. It was supposed to have one round but because it did so well it made a second round and it came back to Chicago and I saw it twice and when I saw that they, they were um, doing a live um, video production of Newsies and they were going to air it on TV that made me excited and now it's on Disney Plus so I can watch it over and over again. Um, and for those of you who don't know what Newsy is, is or what it's about, it's basically about the um, late 1800 newsboy strike um, that happened in New York, and that's basically um, what this musical is based off of. There is a movie production um, of it and that that got made in like the 90s um and then i've seen both and i do plan on watching the the like movie production of it um so i saw that one i saw wrinkle in time i actually got to see that one in theaters but now that it's on disney plus i could just watch it whenever okay so the next thing that i saw was the um, live action Aladdin and I love the live action Aladdin. I actually got to see it with my friends when it originally got released into theaters um, and w me and my friends we liked it and then I also saw um, Lilo and Stitch. Um, for some reason and I don't know why I, I, for some reason the Disney Plus version compa in comparison to like the DVD version, it's the same, but there's one scene that Disney changed. I mean, it. you guys will have to see, see for yourself if you like it or not. So the next thing that I saw was Torch Toy Story 4, and I've also seen that when that got first released into theaters, and now that it's, um, on Disney Plus, I don't have to worry about <laughs> going out to the store and buying it. Um, so I saw that one, and then I also saw um, the first High School Musical and the second High School Musical. I'm making my way to the third High School Musical. Uh, so those are are the other movies that I saw, and then I saw the Kim Possible the TV series. Um, I haven't watched the movie yet. Then I saw Recess, and then their um, TV specials that they had. They had, um, there was like Recess Schools Out, and then Recess moving to like fifth grade, and then there's one where they, excuse me, there's one where they spend like an entire day with like the kindergartners. I forgot what that special was called. Anyway, okay, then I saw The Emperor's New Groove. I love that one. You can't go wrong with that. Um, and then another thing that I saw is um, Princess and a Frog. I love, I, I love it. Um, yeah, there's not much to say except for I love it. Okay, and then the next thing that I saw was um, Tangled and what better princess movie to watch during quarantine other than Tangled because Rapunzel spent 18 years quarantined. Um, and then I also watched um, 
And then I also watched Brave. I love Brave. It It's an awesome movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend watching it. And then I also ended up watching Luck of the Irish. I forgot how much I loved Luck of the Irish. It's a really good movie. And then I saw Fox and the Hound and I love that. And that's basically all of the movies that I've seen so far. All the movies and TV shows that I've seen so far. I do plan on uh, watching the documentaries that are on there. Um, Oh, and then I also saw Star Wars, um, episode, episode, Star Wars Episode 4. I can't talk. I do plan on getting through all of every single Star Wars movie. Uh, next thing that I plan on getting through is every single Marvel movie. I'm a huge Marvel fan. Um, so anyways, those are all the things that I've been watching. Uh, what have you been watching on Disney Plus? Maybe I can add it to my watch list. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you lovely Disney nerds in my next video. Bye guys.